With regard to uh, compensation for personal services, the interesting uh, aspect about this particular se section is that the uh, payroll distribution certification descriptions that were contained in A21 no longer appear in this section. So this casts a big question mark over effort reporting and other types of processes for certifying payroll. So institutions should tread lightly in this area and carefully consider the impact of the absence of those requirements. In section 200.453, materials uh, and supplies costs. Some good news here related to the treatment of computing devices. The computing devices are allowable as a direct cost um, if they are essential and allocable to the project. They don't have to be solely allocable to the project, but they do have to have some type of allocability. And so, um, that's just a quick overview of the uniform guidance. Our organizations and many advocacy groups are going to be poring over these new requirements over the next several months. Clearly, we need to be careful as we react to these uh, uniform guidelines, but we also need to be prepared to review them, analyze them, um, and also uh, take a look at our existing policies, procedures, and practices, and be prepared to make changes to those, as well as changing our websites, as well as uh, our training programs. Thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. Uh, there will be a, an Encura webcast on the uniform guidance coming up in May, so please watch out for the announcement about that. And also, please check out the other YouTube videos on YouTube Tuesday. Thank you.